All right guys, welcome to the channel and I am super excited today to tell you guys we finally got those parts in and we're gonna be installing the upgraded C heads on this four valve motor. So let's get into today's video. All right guys, and just like I said, today we're gonna to be installing those C-heads on the four valve motor. There's a bit of a sequence you have to go through to actually install it. Um, the first thing you do is you put the gasket on, you rest the head on. So you tighten all the bolts down to 30 foot pounds, and then you turn them another 90 degrees. Another 90 degrees would be, is if you set it like this, you bring it this way. So it's pretty much straightforward and um, you set it to 30 foot pounds, turn it another 90 degrees. Um, you lose all of the bolts, one full turn, and then you um, tighten them back down to 30 foot pounds. You turn it 90 degrees, turn it another 90 degrees after that. So I know that's pretty tough of a like a, a sequence, but you have to stretch the bolts, the head bolts, so that they stay down properly, and that is the sequence to actually do it. So. Um, without rambling on much longer, let's get into it. I'm gonna turn this four valve motor um, the right way up. We're gonna install the gaskets, we're gonna rest the heads on, and we're gonna start this um, talking sequence for the heads. Shoots, I totally forgot to show you guys exactly what I got, as in uh, referring to the parts. We got head bolts, we got head gaskets, we got exhaust gaskets. This is pretty much just a, a full re-gasket kit for the motor. We got the... Um, uh, the coil pack seals, we got um, head seals, we're not going to be installing those, I know the head seals are good in that one. Um, we got some ultra grey for the stuff that, you know, needs it. Um, valve pan cover gasket, so pretty much when this motor goes together, um, if it leaks, we should just destroy it or burn it down. There's no reason why it should leak with all these uh, new seals that are going to go into it. So now let's get into putting those heads on. All right guys, so we have the block here. Sorry if there's a lot of wind noise, I got the fan on, it's super hot in here. But we're gonna take these gaskets out of their box and get them set up on the motor. And we got that um, multi-layered steel gasket, so this is much better um, for running that boosted application. And this has a this has an L on it, so this is for, uh, well, you guys couldn't see that, but this here has an L on it, and that's uh, to indicate the left side, and then to indicate the right side, they would obviously have a, a um, R on it. So perfect, we have the gaskets set in place now, and if you're standing, I guess, behind the motor, or if you're sitting in the vehicle, this would be your left side, this would be the right side, but if you're standing in the front of the motor, Obviously, this would be left, this would be right. But the one that has R on it actually goes on this side. If you're standing in the front of it, it actually goes to the left. And the one with L on it actually goes on the right. That's because I guess they label it as if you were sitting in the car. Obviously, this would be left, this would be right. The right one actually has a little channel in on this side that only goes on that side. This one has a channel at the front of it that only goes on that side. So that's how you can also uh, figure out what is what. Now we're going to be resting those heads on and beginning the talk sequence. We got the two heads resting on now. Um, now I'm gonna start putting in those head bolts and just getting them hand tight and then we're gonna start the torque sequence. Always remember never to reuse your head bolts. You always wanna get new bolts because um, these bolts go through a stretch pattern or a stretch um, 
secret. So once they're used, they're not reusable again. All right, so now that we have the heads on, you can see the bolts stick out a pretty good way before they actually get down to the head. So I got my air ratchet. You don't want to use anything that has a lot of torque in it. This doesn't, this actually doesn't carry a lot of torque. So I'm going to tighten the bolts down until they reach the head. And then I'm going to start to use the torque wrench to get them hand tight. And then I'll take them all to 30 foot pounds and continue the torque sequence. All right guys, we got all the bolts in the head and I want to show you guys the torque sequence. I'm actually probably going to put an image up on the screen with uh, me labeling them, but I'm just going to show you before I do that. Um, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this is 10. So that's the torque sequence and we're going to go 30 foot pounds on each one of them until we have it all across and then we're going to start back in the center at one again and then we're going to turn um we're going to turn the bolt another 90 degrees and then we are going to loose each bolt one turn bring all of them back down to 30 foot pounds and then we're going to do a 90 degree turn on all of them and then another 90 degree turn on all of them yeah so now i'm going to start talking his head down All right, so we got all of them down to 30 now. And what I mean by a 90 degree turn is, if you set if you set the torque wrench right there, you wanna bring this straight down and that'll be 90 degrees. So we're gonna start on that torque sequence now. All right, so we have them all torqued down to 30 and an extra 90 degrees. Now we're gonna loose all of them one full turn, torque them back down to 30 and then add 90 degrees and then do another torque sequence of another 90 degrees. All right, we loose those all back down to one full turn. We still have our torque wrench set to 30 foot pounds. Right there, that's the 30, that's the zero. So that's the line for 30 right there. Let's see if you guys can get a shot of that. Focus camera. All right, so now we're gonna be tightening everything back down to 30 foot pounds and then doing the final um, two sets of 90 degree turns. Now we start on those 90 degrees. 
All right, that's the first 90 degrees. Now we're gonna do the final torquing, which is 90 degrees again. All right, and we are done, just like that. That's how you talk down a four valve, 4.6 liter head. So let's do the other side, and then we can close this video out. Alrighty, so we now have both heads torqued down to spec. All of the bolts are installed. Um, in the next video, I'm gonna be installing the cams, the lifters, the rockers, all of that good stuff. Um, and then we should be able to paint the motor, paint all the other stuff that's gonna go on top of it and assemble this thing um, very soon. So um, I also wanna get a rear main seal for this just to make sure it doesn't leak when I put everything back together. And we have a few things to transfer over from the old heads to the new heads. One of them being that um, pipe that runs from here that goes to the back of the head here. So couple of things to be done definitely definitely some big moves made today the motors uh, slowly but surely coming back together and she's starting to look like an engine again all right guys and there you have it it's really um, not a very complicated uh, process to talking down these heads um, there wasn't any videos I've seen anyone talking these down so I said might as well make a video for you guys so everyone else can just watch it instead of trying to research what the talk pattern is or what the talk sequence is or the talk specs are so you have all of that here in one video um, if this video helped you guys at all make sure to please hit that like button it does a lot for these videos uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like content like this turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you guys don't miss a video always remember don't drift without your dreams and I'll catch you guys on the next one